Yo guys, girls, microwave, camels, whatever you want to identify as. In this video, I want to talk about how to get cheaper car insurance in the UK. If you, like me, have had to fork out probably a whole month's wage on car insurance, you'll know how painful it is. Uh, hopefully with these tips, you can get a little bit cheaper, even if it's £50. Some of the tips may be a bit obvious, but some some of people may not know about them, and it may help some people. My first tip, very obvious one, would be always use comparison websites. First of all, go compare, confused, compare the market, and use this as a rough guide on how much you should be paying. There will obviously be a range of quotes, a range of companies, just use it as a rough guide. Adding on to my first tip, my second tip would be to not only use comparison websites. Although I said always use them, try them out get a rough guide, then use the company's website. So admiral.com, use them, see what they can do for you on their actual website. Always worth checking. My next tip would be give them a call. Once you've got your comparison price and price on the actual website, give them a call, see what they can do. Because if you don't ask, you don't get. I know a lot of people who get a cheaper quote when they ring up. My fourth tip would be checking the car's insurance group before you buy it. If you've already bought the car, then unfortunately this tip won't be very helpful. Um, but if you haven't got it, always check the insurance group. Insurance groups start at 1, being the cheapest, 50 being most expensive. If you're looking for a first car, find one around the 8 to 15 insurance group and you should get a decent price obviously other factors need to be considered too how much they get crashed how much they get stolen fifth and final tip is to start the policy a few weeks in advance if possible i personally save 200 pound starting my policy three weeks later rather than starting it the next day i assume this is because uh, the insurance company obviously know you're desperate if you've just bought a new car you want to get out in it um, so they can just stack the price up and know you'll pay it so if you can do it further in advance then do it a quick little tip extra tip I forgot uh, to mention is to have a play with the voluntary excess but bear in mind it may be cheaper per month but could eventually bite you in the ass if you were to have a crash that's just a few little tips that have saved me a bit of money when I've been taking out quotes. Obviously, different factors apply to everyone. Location, age, no claims, etc. But give them a go.